Welcome to HoloQuest heads and VR lovers, this is Eyes on VR where we're all about in-depth reviews and VR news. Today I am thrilled to announce the public release of the Marath Run demo, which is basically an entire game in itself. Cue the montage! All right. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Woo! Ah, still looks amazing, and it's gonna be amazing. Now, I did a full review of Marath Run. I was lucky enough to get in on some of the beta testing a few weeks ago. You can check that out right here. So in this video, I'm just gonna go over the basics of Marath Run, what you can expect from the demo, and stick around to the end for some tips and tricks to help you get ahead on your competition. Yes! Yes! No way! Bow before no your way. master! No way! Wait, 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 wait. So, what is Marath Run? It's basically a bit of this. <laughs> With some of this. Look here. When they really should be looking here. <laughs> a sprinkle of this. And a dash of this. If that means running into a boulder, you just do it. Just do it. All PvP based competition or co-op depending how you want to play. So it's like a TV show. You start at the beginning and then you make your way through the arena over increasingly outlandish obstacles to get to the end to win the race. And they've got everything from zip lines, <laughs> pendulum dodging, swing, 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 swing jump. Oh, damn it. Indiana Jones style boulder dodging. Oh, crap, 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 crap! Climbing walls. And so, so much more. So once you've joined a game in Marath Run, you'll come into the lobby area where you will see all four arenas available in the demo and little dioramas of them so you can kind of see what's coming your way and see which one you would like to try first. Behind you there will be a little training sort of mess around area that you can practice various skills and mechanisms within the game. Once you've all decided on an arena, or even if you haven't, the host can go up to the big board in the middle and select to start the voting process for what arena gets to be played. Once everyone has cast their votes, the map with the most votes wins, a countdown will start and then you will be teleported to that map off in the distance. Just remember before you play Marath Run that this game is in its very early stages. This is alpha stages. It's not even in beta yet. So you might come across some little issues here and there. Nothing game breaking, but you might come across some bugs. If you do, don't worry about it or feel free to report it in the Discord of Marath Run. Also the excitement that there is lots to come, lots of changes and lots more fun and arenas to be played. Oh my God. Ugh. Okay, this is confusing. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't like this one. Oh my god. What's happening? It's all moving so quickly. Oh, duck jump, duck jump, duck jump. 
So it's five players maximum to a lobby right now, though there is room to increase that for more. I'm not saying the devs gonna do that. I'm just saying that these servers do allow for a lot more than five people to play in one game. Now it all sounds so simple, you go from one end to the other end, but trust me, every single game is completely different depending who you play with. I've played quite a few games of this now because I've been lucky enough to get in on it really early and sort of work with the dev on things, but what's really interesting is that, that who you play with changes the whole thing. I've been in games where I've just been working my way along and some people have been stuck on the, the first obstacle and are finding it difficult to get around it. Not because there's anything wrong with the game, obviously, but just because for them it's a little more difficult. But I've seen other people who have never played it before who have just jumped in for the first game of the beta testing and they have just flown past me, flown past the devs of their own game and beat us all. So it really does depend who you're playing with because it, it, it's crazy. Every match is totally different and people seem to approach the obstacles completely differently. Use your hook. Oh, oh, that's interesting. That's right. That's how, that's how we do. <laughs> Oh, I felt when you're in the beta testing some people will approach a climbing wall very differently to others and some people will think of things but others won't they'll try and make it to different walls different heights that other people wouldn't necessarily think of so it's really interesting to see what people do to get around a lot of the obstacles a lot of them are straightforward but there's definitely room for improvisation and that's what makes this game great it's the variety so what are you going to get in the demo? In the demo, you're going to get four arenas to choose from. Now, all of these arenas are completely different from one another, and a lot of them have their own unique obstacles that you will need to overcome to get to the end. And there's some crazy stuff in here, and I'm not going to spoil the surprise by going over every single obstacle in every single arena, even though I kind of really want to. But it's all about the surprise for you guys. I will just say I've mentioned the zip lines, boulder dodging, climbing walls and stuff like that, but there's far more to come for you to experience in the demo. Maris Run is available on side quests, so just go over there, grab it, sideload it onto your quest and you are good to go. An application for AppLab will be put in in the future, so hopefully, fingers crossed, you can expect to see Maris Run on AppLab very soon. I'm gonna try and jump onto it and be super cool. You got this. You got this. Too far! Oh dear. <laughs> oh, oh, he dear. made the same mistake as you did. <laughs> Now, if you're still watching, that means you've been waiting around for the tips and tricks section. And trust me, there's a few here that are going to save your life. Number one. The hooks are your best friends. Do not underestimate how these hooks can be used because they can be used in the physics of this game to hook onto absolutely anything. You can pull yourself up and around corners you otherwise probably couldn't if you use your hooks. Number two, whenever you jump from a ledge or over an obstacle onto another one over a gap, make sure your arms are stretched out because the physical hands in the game can be placed down on ledges to help pull you back up if you do miss a jump. Number three, pulling yourself back up can be a little confusing when you do it the first couple of times. You will be taken through how to do this in the tutorial, but I'm just gonna show you some footage here of me doing it so you kind of know what you're looking for here. As you can see, my hands are outstretched on top of a ledge and my body is hanging down. Now to get back up, what I have to do is I have to make the bottom of your character because you're split into three spheres move up to your middle spear and then go over the ledge which sounds really complicated but it's not all you do is just look down and then press down on your right thumbstick and the bottom of your character will raise up to the height of your hands once you've done that just sort of try and move your character forward push down with your hands and you will hoist yourself up over the ledge it's really as simple as that it just can be quite confusing the first couple of times number four the physics of this game are so good that it doesn't matter how you do things per se. I have never once used the monkey bars properly like you would underneath like this. I have always just climbed up and over the top, so I'm climbing like this. Remember that there are good physics in this game and use that to your advantage, especially the fact that you can boost jump yourself. And number five, like I said, you can boost jump. Just hold down your right thumbstick or your dominant hand thumbstick and your character will crouch. It's basically a crouch jump. But I'm telling you, when you crouch down 
and then press jump and let go of that thumbstick, woo, you will go flying into the air. Now I'm not saying that jump is so high it can be used to completely override some climbing walls, but maybe that's something that you should try out. Once again, I am thrilled to announce the public release of the Maris Run demo. It's on SideQuest, go get it, sideload it to your quest right now. Don't forget to join the Maris Run Discord as well, there'll be a link down in the description. And while you're down there, don't forget to join the Eyes on VR Discord as well, where we talk all things VR and some other stuff that isn't about VR as well. We have a great community in there, so come and join the fun. Also, here's a question. What kind of arenas would you like to see in the full release of Maris Run? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe down below for more PC VR and Oculus Quest content. You can check out all the Eyes on VR social medias too, Instagram, Twitter, blah, blah, blah. This is Eyes on VR. My name is Rex. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Just at the last second. I almost right, had yeah, you. Yeah, no, I saw, I saw you were like... <laughs> I saw you. You were like two feet away. You were two feet away. <laughs> this guy. Oh, oh, Rex is still in the episode. I'm pretty good. You're pretty good. Like all right. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Woo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.